An historic property in Montecito is receiving federal funds to preserve it for its value design dating back about 100 years. News Channel 12 reporter John Palmentary is live. John, there's a link between this property and other similar historic buildings in our area. Casa del Herrero is an iconic home, an 11 acre property tucked in on East Valley Road in Montecito. You may have driven by it many times and not even known that it's there. But this nationally recognized site is in need of help right now, and these funds will help preserve and protect it for future generations. A $750,000 grant exclusively for preservation and conservation work here at this historic Casa del Herrero. With a history dating back to 1925, the treasured home of industrialist George Fox Stedman in Montecito is going to be restored and protected where it has been impacted by age and weather. Okay. The Save America's Treasures grant through the Interior Department will be combined with locally raised funds to protect this property. In all, the $1.5 million will be administered through the California Missions Foundation. This property reflects a period of time that is used for education and a visible connection to the 1920s and beyond. The designs and structures are historically valued. This Spanish revival colonial style building brings together so much that we've come to love in our community here in Santa Barbara as well as throughout California. As beautiful as it is, there are buildings and other features in disrepair. The work ahead will protect Stedman's designs and the nonprofit managing the property wants to share it with the community. There's water damage, there's stucco damage, there's surrounding buildings here that will also be part of this grant and this treasure will be preserved and conserved for future generations. The funds will be used throughout the 11 acres, but some of the locations where you'll see the improvements are around the 10 fountains that have faded, cracked, and weathered tiles. And a specialist has been brought on board to find replacements that'll take you back 100 years. This is all his creation. He was a multi-talented individual, and we just want to bring it back to exactly how he wanted it. The local fundraising is underway followed by the repair and preservation plan in the next few years. Overall, the trustees have an enthusiastic view ahead for the entire community. Um, the architecture to design, to the gardens, to some of the interior furnishings, it's all you have to be able to be here to experience. I'm so excited that the cost is receiving this big extra attention right now. The arches, the style of the building, the tile work, the fountains, the water, moving water through in order to survive, all of that led to this Spanish colonial revival architecture, and there's not a finer example locally here than Casa del Herrero.